Welcome to V Tech Talks, a video series of short practical tips and tricks to help you on your journey to the hybrid cloud. Hello, my name is George Kobar, and I'm a senior technical marketing manager for VMware's vCloud Air. Today I'll be talking to you about vCloud Connector 2.7 enhancements. vCloud Connector is a free VMware product that allows you to seamlessly transfer virtual machines to and from vSphere environments and vCloud Air and other vSphere-based public clouds. vCloud Connector also provides visibility, or the single pane of glass, to manage your virtual machines within these environments and the ability to synchronize catalog templates. vCloud Connector 2.7 represents an important update to delivering a true hybrid cloud with better visibility into your virtual machine transfers and improved support for both the transfer of the vApp and larger virtual machines. vCloud Connector 2.7 new enhancements include lossless copy, the ability to move a vCloud director vApp along with its network policies such as firewall and NAT rules to vCloud Air, large virtual machine migration, transfers up to one terabyte in size are now supported policy-based content synchronization, identify the date and time you want to initiate a content sync from one virtual center server to another or onto vCloud Air, greater transfer visibility, visibility into virtual machine transfer status and bytes transferred every 30 seconds, upfront validation, air checking of the virtual machine template before a migration attempt occurs, better troubleshooting and error management, impose a cap on the number of concurrent transfers are allowed in improved error messages to help troubleshooting migration issues. In vCloud Director, a vApp is a collection of interrelated virtual machines. You can also think of a vApp as a package of IT services or a container for your multi-VM application. In vCloud Director, you can create a vApp from scratch or download a prepackaged vApp template or an OVA from a trusted vendor. A vApp can contain network attributes such as IP address, MAC, addressing of the virtual machines, and also include a NAT and firewall rules for communication between virtual machines within the vApp. Customers can leverage their on-premise vCloud director deployment and package IT services, or virtual machines, in a vApp, and move the entire vApp using vCloud Connector into vCloud Air for production. That production vApp can be running in vCloud Air, while an exact copy, or clone, can be created and given to your development team in another location that is working on the next release. Another vApp can be cloned and given to your quality assurance team and testing team on premises for full application lifecycle management. Given the vApp container's powerful networking capabilities when transporting multi-tier applications across clouds, it's important to preserve the configuration and relationships between things like IP addresses, MAC addresses, and the NAT and firewall rules of these virtual machines within the vApp. vCloud Connector 2.7 lossless copy preserves these important network attributes and eliminates the need to repair or reconfigure all these settings when deploying to the, v to the cloud. Configure the IP, NAT, and firewall rules once and copy the entire vApp into vCloud Air. Let's take a look at a specific example. A vApp may contain a network virtual appliance that the virtual machines use within the vApp. In this example below, all the virtual machines use the default gateway, 192.168.109.1. The internal interface of the network appliance should have the IP address and MAC address preserved to minimize the impact of the virtual machines that are connected to it. Without lossless copy, each of these virtual machines could be assigned a different IP address when it's copied into the cloud. With the wrong networking assignments, this vApp would not, would not work properly at all. You would have to go into each virtual machine and manually change the network settings to fix the problem. With lossless copy, all of the network assignments and firewall rules within the vApp are maintained during migration, making it easier to move the entire application without any manual configuration changes. Keeping the MAC address can also be quite useful for moving virtual machines that use MAC addresses for licensing purposes. Most importantly, maintaining firewall and NAT rules will ensure that there are no security gaps when moving multi-VM vApps from one environment to another. With vCloud Connector 2.7, moving workloads back to vCloud Air is easier. The vCloud Connector node performs a pull rather than a push mechanism. This means a public IP address or a one-to-one -one NAT 
with a private VCC node is no longer required. The VCC 2.7 node will initiate the connection or push from on-premise first, then to the multi-tenant node, then pull the VM back onto on-premise. Thank you for watching. For more information on vCloud Air, visit vcloud.vmware.com. Mm -hmm.